Each of the following numbers is a perfect square. Okay, perfect square is a number that if you number like 9 or 6, 10, that you can get from squaring a number. For example, 9 you can get from squaring 3, 6, 10 you can get from squaring 4. So 25 is also perfect square, 36 is a perfect square, and so on. Okay, so a 14 factorial times 15 factorial divided by 2. How do we know if this is a perfect square? <clears throat> okay, so what's, what is what is this? What is this? What is this sign standing for? Well, it's 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 a product of all the number from one to that number. Like three factorial is one times two times three. Four factorial is one times two times three times four. Fifteen factorial is one times three two times three times and so on till you multiply by 15. So these are what a factorial is. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at 14 factorial times 15 factorial divided by 2. Well, we know 14 factorial is 1, one times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times so on till times 14. And 15 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times so on till 14 times 15. So this 15 factorial is pretty much 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 times 11 times 12 times 13 times times 14 times 15 but do you notice one this whole thing except times 15 that thing is 14 factorial which means which means which means, which means, let's erase this, which means 15 factorial is the same thing as 14 factorial times 15, so that's 15 factorial. Okay, so if that's 15 factorial, this whole thing equals to 14 factorial times this whole thing, which equals to 15 factorial, divided by 2. Well, this thing is 14 factorial squared, so that's the same thing as 14 factorial squared times 15 divided by 2 okay so that's a perfect square but if we multiply by a number in this we we have to know if this whole thing is a perfect square or not for that whole thing to be a perfect square this thing has to be a perfect square and that has to be a perfect square well that's a perfect square that's something squared but 15 divided by 2 is not a perfect square so that's not it so that's not it Okay, let's erase all this, let's erase all this. Okay, so we know, we know A is not it. Now let's look at B, now let's look at B. 15 factorial times 16 factorial divided by 2. We'll buy the same logic, that's the same thing. It's 15 factorial squared times 16 divided by 2, which is 15 factorial squared, so 15 factorial squared, times 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Well, that's a perfect square, but is 8 a perfect square? No, that 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so 8 is not a perfect square. So this whole thing is not a perfect square, once again. So that's not it. So B is not it. Now let's look at C. Now let's look at C. 16 factorial times 70 factorial divided by 2. Well, that's the same thing as 16 factorial squared times 17 divided by 2. Well, that's a perfect square, but 17 divided by 2 is not a perfect square, so this whole thing is not a perfect square once again. So that's wrong. That's wrong. So C is not a perfect square. Now let's look at D. 17 factorial times 18 factorial divided by 2. Well, by same logic, that's the same thing. 70 factorial squared times 18 divided by 2, which is the same thing. 17 factorial squared times 9 times 9. Well, we know that's a perfect square because that's something squared, but it's 9 a perfect square. Yes, 3 squared is 9, so that's thing, this whole thing is the same thing as 17 factorial squared times 9, which is 3 squared, which is 17 factorial times 3, and all of that squared, which is a perfect square, so D is a perfect square. Okay, so we already got the answer, but let's still look at E. 
it is 18 squared s squared 18 factorial squared times 19 divided by 2 well that's, a, well that's a perfect square but this thing is not a perfect square so whole thing is not a perfect square so E is not a perfect square so the answer is D